the western region we're here in a crime president mahama says there is an urgent need to streamline education training to meet industry demands he urged industry players to take part in designing of a new curriculum that is job centered to reduce graduate unemployment in the country a report by edward kwabi President Mahama made the observations at the launch of the National Conference on bridging the gap between education training and the industry. The aim of the conference is to revise the educational curricula to suit demands of the job market. Minister of Education Professor Jen Nano Pukwajaman said government is seeking to reduce unemployment and link what is taught in class to the job market. A strategic thrust of the ministry seeks to make education relevant to the needs of industry and the world of work by encouraging many intervention and many strategies. The disturbing global and national trend of unemployed youth, the need to highlight further education and training to make them continually relevant is an indispensable ingredient of national development. President of the Association of Ghana Industries, Seth Chun Akwabua, was hopeful the conference would help address the imbalance. Over the years, we have noticed the growing mismatch between what industries expect of school leavers and what they can readily do. Industry expect from job seekers multiple skills, professionally functional and result-oriented, among others. These deficiencies in many of our school leavers have become a major setback to graduate employment. President John Mahama explained it was urgent for the country's educational curricula to be streamlined to meet industry needs. In my State of the Nation address, I called for this forum and subsequently the conduct of a job market survey to address the misalignment between training from our educational institutions and business and industry. This would also assist young students to pursue career options based on employability after their training. He asked participants to suggest solutions to bridge the gap. Industry and business must let us know the skill sets they require and in which areas of training they require so that our institutions of learning can align their curricula to suit this demand. It is in this context that this conference should seek at its conclusion to address issues on employability by offering well thought out sustainable solutions. A minute silence was observed in remembrance of the late PV Obin who was billed to address the conference. Still midday live and we're looking at the youth employment and education issues around that and i do have in the studio this afternoon the acting ceo of the national youth authority ras mubarak good afternoon good afternoon Wendy. Good and to thanks see for you. your time same here ras mubarak. now academia industry it's common knowledge and some persons are of the view that our educational system is stale looking at the job market and the trend we have now around the world. We train them, they go into the world of business, they can't fit in or match. This is common knowledge, isn't it? Well, thank you very much. And uh, first of all, um, it's unfortunate that the Ministry of Education didn't um, invite or involve the National Youth Authority in this exercise. Now, having said that, the education system we have in Ghana has undoubtedly churned out a lot of exciting professionals you know but there's still a lot of work to be done um, work that would help young men and women of our country meet the ch changing you know our trend in the job market you know and um, the need for reform is actually crucial at this particular moment because we are at the point in our country's history where we have more younger people than mm -hmm. there were 10 years ago or 20 years ago. We have more younger people who are graduating from our universities and training colleges, colleges than they were 10 or 15 years ago. Mm. There are more young people who are graduating than there are older people who are retiring. You know, so you realize that a lot of people are competing for limited amount of spaces in, in, in industry and so on and so forth. You know, so the need 
to um, bring in some impetus, you know, uh, diversify our educational system that would make it meet the rising demand of industries quite critical. Has the system One of failed the us? Well, I mean, we should be changing. This is the 21st century. But would you agree that this, the system has this is the, This is the 21st century. And, and, and to think that, you know, we are producing graduates and we're not preparing them adequately for, you know, the job market, yes, indeed. Because I've heard a lot of complaints from industry that the graduates that our, our institutions are churning out don't even match up to the skill set that they require. Mm -hmm. You know, so clearly there's some form of there's a need for some form of collaboration and there's a need for a job market survey and I'm so excited that you know His Excellency President Mahama has talked about that time and again the National Youth Authority has been calling for support you know to conduct a job market survey interestingly Imani Ghana was one of the three institutions that showed interest in supporting the survey with a job market survey you'd be able to tell year on year that these are the kinds of graduates that industry is looking for. And then when people are leaving senior high school for the universities, they know that if they read history, probably there's no, there's limited amount of space for them in the job market. And they would attempt to read courses that would, you know, uh, help them get jobs as soon as, you know, so they come out. If, of, if, uh, if, if what you're talking about comes into fruition and the schools don't change the courses they're running want to go to waste to them the schools would have to change because you know the national Youth authority for instance has been making the point that we have to even make the teaching of entrepreneurship critical and an integral part of our university system you know because people come out of school government has opportunities there's a lot of commitment on the part of government to support young people there's a 10 million you know fund for young people with ideas. Now, if you read history or if you read music in school, probably you don't have any ideas on how to put together a business proposal. What the National Youth Authority is doing is to liaise with the National Service, where we're currently piloting in four regions of the country, Volta region, Greater Accra, Ashanti region, and Northern region. We would reach out to National Service personnel, where we would give them training in our financial management on how to put together proposals and so on and so forth, mm -hmm. so that you know, with funds like what the presidency has announced, it should be easier for any Ghanaian, whether they read history or business or music, to actually apply, put their business ideas, you know, put ideas to paper, and actually apply and access some of these, these funding opportunities. And it will be great, because the countries that would survive in the next 20, 30 years are countries that can provide sustainable employment for the young men and women. Now, this fund that you're talking about, mm. isn't it very similar to the incubation system that we have here in Ghana? Because I've been to the center and I've seen young people who are doing so well, but they can't reach a target in a number because they are constrained. And, and then the National the Youth Authority comes up to say that, yes, we have a fund and we also want to... No, we, no we don't have a fund. It's the presidency that has set up the fund. But isn't it like and an application uh, of the incubation the, program? Because of the number of people who are coming out of our universities and training colleges, it makes it even a lot more interesting and imperative that we have more of such programs. Because I've sincerely lost count of the number of private universities we have, mm -hmm. plus you know, uh, public universities. And all of these young people are coming out and they are looking for placements either in public or private sectors where we have limited job opportunities and that is the reason why you know we should prepare them we should get them to become entrepreneurs but incubation should, system gives them that process no but i'm just saying that that is just not enough i mean if you have like they say in three and i'm the one saying quite but they are challenged so don't you think that if they were expanded and they had the resources they would have done beautiful if you have that one you have this under the auspices of the um, 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 presidency you have several other programs um, I mean some of the telecos are even doing some that would help out a lot because like I've underscored there's some there's a lot of people who are graduating than there are people who are retiring so that makes it a lot more imperative to have more of such programs where so many people can access funding and be able to say okay if I'm not getting a job from government or the private sector after a year I can put ideas together and start my own business. Now, if they access these funds, are they supposed to pay back? 
who is eligible? The, the, I mean, per our definition of youth, these are people between 15 and 35. Now, they we are still... National, we have national... Now, they are still fine-tuning, they are still fine-tuning the criteria. And uh, we are hoping that even though, yes, our definition of youth ends at 35, there probably will be an extension to 40, but largely it should be for Ghanaian youth who have some business ideas that can translate into into job for jobs for others because if you don't have a situation where the youth are creating jobs and 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 we still continue with the status quo where they are becoming job seekers they would have a how, huge how confident are we that this is going to work jida has failed the national service has its own Na issues national youth authority and, and, is not jida and you're also coming on with something totally which G is not different but something that is well known how are we sure that this will work we are all in this together there's got to be monumental amount of commitment when you are putting these issues on the you know um, uh, on, on the front burner it would gain attention we are inviting industry to take an interest you know in the challenges facing young people because we should cease from seeing issues of unemployment as government related issues you know these are issues that we all should be helping out and it's in the interest of even industry because if there is peace and security in a country business thrives and they would make profit you know so they should be seen to be supporting and helping some of these programs and actually help okay. institutions like the national youth authority which is you know which badly need funds to be able to execute some of the uh, pro programs that we have for right. the young men in our country thank you very and much. women as well <laughs> thank you very much um, he's the acting ceo of the national youth authority we're looking at youth unemployment